You have to physically in your mind and in your soul believe whatever you want, you already have. channel I'm Zafar Shadia and thank you for tuning in to yet another video if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber what's up so I'm back with another video and in today's video it's gonna be a little bit different than my typical content but it's something that I truly am passionate about and I usually incorporate this into my daily routine which is manifesting yay manifesting journaling um, meditating anything of that nature um, I am super into and I incorporate that into my daily routine so in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I manifest the things that I want in my life slash not that I want that I deserve you can do the same thing and I'm going to teach you guys how to manifest the things that you deserve in your life so if you want to learn more about manifestation and I'm going to talk about crystals just a little bit um, and if you want to learn anything else about how to manifest your life then just keep on watching. So I incorporate manifesting journaling into my daily life so I just want to show you guys like a couple of um, tips and tricks and things that has helped me into actually manifesting some things that I've journaled about come to real life. So, um, everybody does this differently and there's different ways to go about manifesting, but I would say the number one thing is to write it down. Um, you want to have a journal of some sort and you want to write it down every single day. And I mean every day. I have a couple of journals here that I'm about to show you guys. So if you see me looking down, I have my stuff right here. So I have three journals actually. I love journals um, I'm a Capricorn so I literally hoard journals um, every time I see a new journal at Target I'm like oh I have to get it um, so I have three journals right here so this first one is actually empty which is a marble one um, I just got this like a couple weeks ago um, I'm about to be finished on my second my second journal so once I finish my second journal then I'm gonna go to my third journal which is so crazy because you guys I didn't honestly think I would finish my first journal like I was never the type when I was younger to I had a diary but I never like finished it I used to be the, the girl that didn't used to finish the journals or the diaries or whatever the case may be and then get a new one when I seen a cute diary or a cute journal and start writing it but never actually finishing it so it's so crazy to me that manifesting and journaling is really real you guys like it is mind-blowing how the universe works and how when you speak things into existence and the word of the word of your tongue is very very powerful so um, this first one I actually finished completely and I will not be showing you guys or like reading my actual journal because to me that's personal and whatever you manifest in your life you you don't want to show others or tell others at least until it's done if that makes sense and that's just for me personally so this first journal i actually got from um my girl here on youtube anaya ivy if you do not watch her you should go watch her like she doesn't know who i am but i love her videos and she talks a lot about like journaling and manifesting um crystals spiritual baths all of that so i got this journal from her and it says if it doesn't serve you make you happy or make you money let that shit go period and that's just what it is so i finished this journal completely and i'm currently on this journal which i got from um urban outfitters and it just has capricorn on it so i'm currently on this journal right now um so there's so many different ways about journaling like so many different ways you can go about journaling um me personally i like to write how i'm feeling each day um so i usually write some of the same things that i want to manifest in my life first and then i'll go into like how i'm feeling for the day or vice versa so i use it as kind of a diary slash um 
manifesting what do I want in my life as well um, and sometimes I'll go on like tangents like depending on my mood I won't even like manifest certain things um, because literally it's just how my heart and my mind is feeling for that day um, but the important thing when manifesting is you can't just write it down so I'm sitting here telling you to journal yeah you can journal but you have to believe it. Like, if you don't believe it, when you're writing it down, it's not going to happen. Like, you can write, I want a Mercedes Benz. But if you don't physically say, I have a Mercedes Benz, it, it doesn't resonate the same way, if that makes sense. You have to truly believe whatever you're manifesting that you already have it. Because if not, it just, it, it, it just doesn't work because... It's, it's all about the mind, body, and soul. And you have to physically, in your mind, and in your soul, believe whatever you want, you already have. So, um, when I'm in, sorry, I got so deep just now, but real life though, like seriously, when you're manifesting, when you're journaling the things that you want in your life, be super, super, super specific. So, that goes for anything. So, if you want a man in your life, be specific. What does he look like? How tall is he? What is his job? What what does he like to do in his free time? What is his hobbies? Does he have a family? Like literally manifest every single thing in your life and like details. Details is everything. Because you can sit here and say, I want a BMW all day long. But you need to really be like, I want a white BMW with black interior. Like you have to be very specific about what you want. Um, so these are the three journals that I have. I just use a basic pen, but I do know some people like to use, um, color pens and like to color coordinate things. But me personally, I just use a basic pen. Um, I also use, um, sticky notes as well. So these are the sticky notes, literally just random sticky notes that I got from Target, literally just, you know, colored sticky notes. And with these sticky notes, I write down my affirmations every single day. So, um, I have affirmations across my room, like everywhere in my room. Um, I write down, you know, my morning affirmations. Um, I am beautiful. I am blessed. I am loved. I am smart. I am pretty. Things like that. I have that written out in my room. Um, I have a prayer that I say every morning written out on my wall. And that's just to visually see um, what you're saying every day. Um, because sometimes you may forget, and I know like life is crazy, things get hectic, and you may forget to write in your journal. But if you physically see um, your affirmations, it'll remind you like, hey, take two seconds breathe and say I am beautiful today's a good day today's going to be a good day I'm positive things like that um that'll help you get you through your day now um I'm gonna briefly touch on crystals um if you guys want me to do a different video a separate video about crystals um I will um I actually have crystal bracelets on me right now as we speak um I wear these every single day I actually need to get me some more um, when you go into learning about crystals, it can be a lot. Um, that's why I said I'll do like a separate video on that. But when I manifest and when I'm journaling and on full, full moons and new moons, I like to journal as well for sure. Like if I don't journal a couple of days, I have to make sure I journal those days because that's when some of the things are very powerful and very like strong in the air. So, um, that's just a brief, like, overview of, like, crystals or whatever. And I'll also burn these two candles. I actually need to get some more. But you can get candles like these. I've seen these, I want to say, at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. I've seen them there, but I usually get mine from the actual crystal store. So, I just have two. They're almost gone. I have a blue candle. And then this candle right here was uh, all of the chakras. So... It's kind of like burnt down where you can't really see but this candle was like all of the chakras um so I usually burn these as well while I'm journaling and manifesting it just it just helps it enhances what you're manifesting in your life I also sage um, I'm really big on saging I try to sage 
once a week um you can sage as many times as you want or use i know some people use palo santo but it's just basically like a natural herb um this is what it looks like mine is like almost burnt down and i lost the tie for it so it's like coming out and then i just use like an ashtray i got this ashtray from urban outfitters i just use this to um let it out and catch all the ashes um but palo santo and sage really helps with cleansing cleansing the air cleansing energy is cleansing literally every every anything you can think of um if you have a lot of people in your house for a amount of time you know save your house after people leave because you have different people's energies feeding off of you um if you're going into a new place and you want to make sure that the air is clear and the energy is good in your new place um even if you're just feeling like your your heart and your soul is just feeling very heavy um just cleanse your body just you know say I want peace, bring me peace, bring me abundance, joy, um, things of that nature. And it'll help you kind of release all of that negative energy that you may have brought on to your body along the week or the day or whatever the case may be. Um, so saging and using Palo Santo is very good as well for that. Um, I'm really big on energy and protecting your energy and just protecting your 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 body because you literally only have one body so you want to make sure you protect your energy and don't let negative energy and negative people be around you because if you're around that you're going to feed off of that um and that's not good especially if you're manifesting the things that you want you can't surround yourself by negative people because that'll never happen for you the things that you're manifesting you have to truly believe it and feel it every single day and you know be positive and you know don't doubt yourself don't say i want um i might have um i wish i had don't say any of those things when you're manifesting when you're journaling say i have i already have i am because that's what you want and you have to truly believe that you already have it and it's already in front of you and when you do that you'll really start to see things really change in your life i'm not saying you guys that it's gonna happen overnight because it doesn't like i'm already two journals in about to be on my third journal and um certain things that i've manifested in my life has happened for me but some things haven't happened for me yet and i know they will happen for me um it just takes time so it's not an overnight success if you will like you can't just journal tomorrow night or journal tonight and think that it's going to happen tomorrow it doesn't work like that you have to truly believe it every single day and say these affirmations and the things that you really truly want every single day and it'll happen for you um as far as vision boards i know a lot of people make vision boards um i used to make vision boards and that may work for some which is just pretty much um journaling but just on an actual board with images so uh, things that you want in your life if you want to be a traveler if you want a certain car if you want to make a certain amount of money you'll put all of that on a vision board um instead of you know journaling and some have both some do vision boards and they journal um and it's just really much your like it's just pretty pretty much your preference and you can you know do a little bit of research on um in detail about manifesting and crystals and saging and palo santo on your own um because i'm not an expert at all <laughs> needless to say um i really just started to get into crystals maybe a couple years ago and i've been journaling since um towards the end of last year middle of last year um and i've seen a major difference you really have to believe in yourself and believe in what you're saying because if not you're just writing down a whole bunch of stuff basically you just write down random stuff that just may or may not happen but you have to have a positive mindset and think positive and you have to truly believe it in order for it to work i have really seen the power of words and the power of your tongue i have seen it 
um, just by reading my first journal and I'm like, wow, I really did low key achieve some of this that I've been manifesting. And it's so crazy because I'm also the type of person that writes down my goals that I have um, in my room. I have a huge ass calendar um, that I do for content and I write out, you know, what I'm going to create for the videos. But beside it, I have monthly goals of what do I want for my Instagram, my YouTube, my business. Um, I have all of those goals written out every single month, um, the stuff that I want to achieve. And I really feel like when you write out your goals and you say them or if you uh, just write it out every day, I feel like that makes a difference and it truly it's repetition in your mind and you start to think like I can do this I have this like I got this type of vibe and as soon as that happens you'll see a major difference in whatever you want in your life whether it's that job that car the money the career whatever you want do your love life whatever you want um, you'll start to actually physically see it firsthand um so yes there's that um but yes as far as vision boards back to vision boards i personally feel um i know people like to have vision board parties i personally feel that the goals that i have nobody knows about because i feel like that's for me to know and for others to see once i reach those goals if that makes sense I know a lot of people are really, um, that's super popular, you know, get a group of people making their vision boards, having vision board parties. I personally don't like to do that because um, I like to keep that to myself and keep that private. And, you know, people, some, some close people around me know some of my goals that I want to achieve, but the real big goals that I want to achieve in life, nobody knows that besides me. Um, and that's what I write down in my journals. So I just feel like in order for you to, I'm not going to say in order for you to like see it happen in your life, to not do vision boards and not do vision board parties. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying personally, I like to keep certain goals and certain things that I'm trying to achieve in my life to myself. Because let's be honest here, everybody intentions is not good so everybody's intentions is not good for you and um people are literally praying on your downfall like real life praying on your downfall praying on you to fail praying on you to not be successful and you don't want that energy around you um so i just tend to not broadcast everything that i have in the works everything i'm planning on to everybody that's just me um so i feel like i kind of covered everything like the main basics of how to manifest what you want there's so many things to um that branches off from that like i said crystals and saging and palisanto that all goes hand in hand and you also manifest the journal and vision boards it's literally however you want to manifest um what you want in your life baby girl you deserve or baby boy you deserve period um Oh, and one last thing, I try to man, um, meditate, but to be honest, I don't meditate as much as I should, but I try to. Um, the app that I like to use is called, I believe, Oak. There is quite a bit of different apps. If you just go into the app store and search um, meditation, it'll have like so many different apps. But I like to use Oak. Um, it's like different stages that you go through. They have like breathing exercises. They have um, different levels of the meditation as well. Um, you can do it for like five minutes, 10 minutes, and then so on. They have really calm, soothing music as well. Um, so I tried to med um, meditate. I did a lot of meditation uh, when I was actually working because my job was kind of stressful. Um, and sometimes you just have to take a second out of your day and to just breathe and say, you got this you got this, everything will be okay, type of thing. Um, so that app is good for that. There's, like I said, different apps that you can use. That's just the one that I use sometimes. 
um and i believe that is it i know this video was kind of different this is just something that i actually do in my everyday life um i know i share a little bit of it on instagram when i like sage or like if i'm journaling like i just wanted to actually show you guys or tell you guys here on youtube how i manifest the things that i deserve in my life and i want you all guys all you guys to do the same as well um, because we all deserve nothing but the best and that's just what it is um, you have to have a positive mindset and you have to have a good energy um, to feel the good vibrations in order to do so this is just something that helps me and this is what I've learned personally from manifesting my own life and I want to share you share with you guys as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to comment like and subscribe and check your girl out on Instagram if you have not been following me also my business account um, all things aesthetics um, marketing learning how to market yourself on Instagram all of that um, at aesthetic underscore underscore and I will take you guys in my next video. Bye.